Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sahar and today they will be doing a simple get ready with me using products I've been enjoying for the past six months. So before anything else, we start with our SPF. It is the summertime and we always need to have SPF. The SPF I like using is the CeraVe Ultra Light Moisturizing Lotion and SPF 30. Don't go below SPF 30. The foundation I'm wearing does not have SPF and I don't really mind because I prefer to put my own SPF on. I'm not using anything fancy like the Super Goop ones or the e.l.f. ones which is not even available yet in my country so we're not gonna use those. Also, I don't think you need super expensive SPF especially because you'll be using them and reapplying them throughout the day. If you do have makeup on top, it would be nice to maybe get a spray SPF or a foundation that has SPF. So if you apply the foundation, you basically apply the SPF as well. Okay, next is a primer. Honestly, I don't use primers typically. I just use the SPF and then I put my foundation on and I'm done. But I have been enjoying the e.l.f. primer. There's also a niacinamide version. The reason why I don't get the niacinamide version is because I already have niacinamide in my routine, so I don't need it. So I'll typically do maybe um, two pumps of this and then put it all over my face, focusing more on my T-zone. But you have to make sure that the SPF sits for a good like 15 to 20 minutes so you don't move that around with your foundation and everything else. Now e.l.f. came out with this new um, pore putty primer that's a liquid form. So they have the putty form and now they have the liquid form. And I really want to try that out because I did not enjoy the putty primer the the jar i have a video on that i'll be linking it up here i don't i never know where i'm linking it and i don't think it really did anything to my skin again i have an oily t-zone and pretty dry cheeks and i don't know it just this never really did anything for me unlike this primer where i can actually see and feel a difference and um i just like the experience of it more now you can tell I am breaking out. I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe because I'm not doing my skincare properly. <laughs> I have been slacking out on, is that the word? Slacking out? Slacking out? I have been like not doing my skincare very much um, because I'm super lazy and I've been really busy. And I know it's not an excuse, but I notice when I don't do my skincare, I do break out. And that's like, a, that's facts right there. So the foundation I have been loving is the House Labs foundation. I never buy any high-end foundation. And and so I did a lot of research, watched a lot of videos, and came to the House Labs foundation, which I honestly really like. I'm in the shade 100 Light Neutral, and this is a pretty good shade for me. I'm gonna do one pump and then build accordingly. I just like to keep it light on the daily. And I like to use this Sephora foundation brush. This is the number 70 Pro foundation brush because it's dense. And for foundations that are liquidy, I like to use dense brushes. For foundations that are a little bit thicker, I like to use a different brush, a little bit more loose. It's the NYX foundation brush. I love their brushes very much. So this one, I'm just gonna go lightly over my face. And then wherever I need more coverage, I'll just add more foundation. I'm also using a different audio system. I have like this blue yeti in front of me i don't know if it's gonna really help with the sound of my videos it took me like an hour to figure it out and i finally got it to work i really appreciate people who make videos online about these things i can still see my imperfections peek through but that's fine i don't mind but if i want an extra like extra layer of coverage i will go in with a second layer or i'll even go in with a concealer so the concealer i decided to buy during that sephora sale is the milk makeup concealer i also watched a lot of reviews before i bought this but I don't like it very much. I don't know what it is, but remember that NYX concealer that everybody was raving about? I tried it. I bought two shades. I hated it. It would crease so badly on me and I didn't understand how to make it work because everybody seemed to love it. And that just goes to show that things people love might not work for you. So it's good to try stuff out. I decided not to return this because I already used it and... I don't know about you, but I feel really, really iffy when I return things. I feel so self-conscious when I, I hate that it's not normal for me or I don't feel good when I return things because, I mean, it's my money and if things don't work for you, you're not supposed to have to deal with it. So I noticed with this concealer, it doesn't look good when you set it. It has to be self-set. So as I blend it under my eyes, it'll start to crease and I just keep blending it throughout the time I'm doing my makeup. And when it finally sets, 
don't touch it you don't even have to use powder so it looks great but it will crease so as I go on throughout the day with my makeup I'm just gonna keep dabbing it with this brush by the way favorite brush of all time this is the Sephora 71 so it's like a brush that's tapered and it's perfect for your like concealer like everywhere that needs those hard to reach places perfect brush I love this brush so much so next we're gonna go with brows and I absolutely love the H&M brow pencil but right now I'm using up this G G GXVE the, the one by Gwen Stefani, her line, and this one I got at um, Winners, which is kind of like a Target, on sale, and this is in the shade 5. I also like the shade 2, but that's more of a taupe color. So how I like to do my brows is I like to line the bottoms and then fill in the outer edge and then use the spoolie at the back, that one, and then just brush the color so it kind of is a nice gradient. So there's one thing I don't like about this product, it's that you don't, you never know which side is the spoolie and which side is the pen side, you never know. So this brow pencil is super pigmented and honestly, I'm lying, it's not my favorite. <laughs> I've been using it every day and it's pretty okay, but I'm only saying that because I bought it on special and not full price. I wouldn't buy full price for this to be honest with you, but if it's on special, then I don't really mind it. So the next thing is brow glue to keep those hairs up and nice and stiff. The one I've been absolutely enjoying is the NYX the Brow Glue. This one I love. They finally came up with different colors and I got the shade Taupe. I love this. It keeps your brows in place for the whole day. And the thing with my brows is, and I don't know if it's the same with you, one of my brows always ends like this. Like the hairs just go this way and the other brow always has a nice like upwards pointing the good brow versus the okay brow this stuff really helps me have both brows like the good brow <laughs> this one you have to make sure you don't put too much because it does look goopy the first time so when you take it out of the bottle ring it a little bit on the size of the bottle and it dries pretty quickly as well we will find out how the audio does when i start editing and I'm really hoping the audio is fine. Okay, next is gonna be mascara. Now, I have been on a hunt for mascara because I refuse to buy mascara from high-end brands. I don't wanna spend so much money on mascara. I have tried a few, like the Ilya ones. They're okay. Everything just seems to like go on the bottom of my eyes because I do have a little bit of a oily eyelid situation. No mascara has really, you know, gone there except for the l'oreal lash paradise which i absolutely love but that's hell to take off i tried lash extensions for a while and ugh, i love lash extensions but it's a lot of money after two to three weeks since i have oily lids they kind of start to just look weird and you do not like your lash extensions to not be full and plump because it looks weird, I have to say. Oh, I never even told you what I'm using. I'm using the Anti-Gravity Mascara by Milani. I love this one. This one's pretty good. It's pretty good. Minimal clumping, minimal fading, minimal transfer. I love it. And it keeps my lashes up. I really like this one so far from the drugstore. I really, really, really want to try the Tower 28 mascara, which is like $26, $27 a bottle? Come on! So let me do my mascara out of frame because I know it looks funky, so let me just do the outside. My mascara looks great. I usually just put mascara, but I will be putting false lashes just because I have another video to bleh, just because I have another video to film after this and I need to look good. This is the Ardell Wispies. I am so out of this. I used to do this all the time for my videos and now I'm out of practice. I'm so out of practice. Okay, my lashes look really funky, but I'm gonna put some liner to make it look less funky and oh my cat's so cute so the liner i have been using for the most part is the sephora brown liner i've been obsessed with brown liner since i thought about using brown liner because they're just less intense than the black ones and i've been on the search i've been on the hunt for a good brown liner this is not it i tried the next one because i love their epic egg black liner that brown one is not it either but I did see a video where they tried the Physician's Formula Brown Liner and 
until I finish this I'm on that whole journey now where I have to finish makeup before I buy new ones and until I finish these two liners I'm gonna hold off on purchasing the physician's formula one because I'm adulting like that you know I'm realizing now I haven't done makeup in a long time because I should have done the liner before I put in my lashes like what was I thinking fudge balls okay but we're gonna try I mean the good part is you can't even tell that the liners don't look like because they're being covered by the lashes so that's a good thing I'm thinking I'm gonna put a little bit of eyeshadow so for eyeshadow I actually am sticking with the quads from elf I know they're coming out with a 12 pan one I think like an extended quad I'll just be using a fluffy crease brush this is from wet n wild a long time ago and I really like this and I'll just put a little bit of um, eyeshadow on my crease just keep it really simple so maybe I'll take this dark one a little bit focus that on the outside of my crease just like that nothing too fancy and then I'm gonna take the lightest shade for a nice like highlight that looks good now I'm gonna put some mascara underneath my lashes which I don't typically do but for this look I think I have to so the mascara I love to layer with is the telescopic carbon black by L'Oreal it's not the infamous telescopic fake lash gate thingy whatever it's the thin one so this is a thin wand perfect for underneath your lashes super easy to use this lasts so long it keeps my lashes curled sometimes I layer this on top of what I'm already wearing on my top lashes just to make it look longer and it does the job I really like this one and you know the lash gate telescopic lash that one does smudge and it does like flake on me and I have a small TikTok video showing how it lasts throughout the day this one, for some reason, it doesn't do that. It does not smudge as much and it doesn't flake as much. So I do prefer this one. Okay, we're finally done with the eyes, I think. Are we done with the eyes? Yeah, we're finally done with the eyes. So now we'll put blush and the blush I've been using every single day is the one by Rare Beauty. It's this one right here. This is in the shade Hope. I just need the tiniest bit. And that's it. If the product doesn't expire within five years, I'll still probably be using it. I love this shade on me and it just blends so well. And the brush I like to use is a more dense brush. This is the ultimate blending brush from e.l.f. e.l.f. has amazing brushes. And this is my favorite brush to use for this product. So I know that she came out with a matte version of these soft pinch blushes. And this version is the luminous version. And I generally prefer luminous blushes because I don't like wearing highlighter. <gasps> I said it. I don't like wearing highlighter on the daily. Okay. On the daily. But since we're not working today, this is the Revlon Skin Lights. This is in the shade Daybreak Glimmer. It's a nice gold shimmer and I do enjoy it. I don't use it every day again. I only use it sometimes when I'm feeling a little extra extra. So for bronzers, I like to use these two bronzers. Blonzers, oh my gosh bronzers this one is the one by milani it's the sunlight silky matte in shade 01 and this one is the flower heat wave this one does pull a little red on me for some weird reason so i like to just focus this on like those hollows of the cheeks to contour this one is a nice bronzing type of shade where it's good to like all over the face this with you what this is good to like put all over the face this one is probably best for just contour unless you have a skin tone that suits this a little bit more i like to use something that's a little bit slightly more tapered than the blush brush so you can see this is the elf buffing foundation brush but i don't use it for that it's a little bit more bulbous if you can tell and i like this one more for contouring i also don't mind using this kind of a brush let's contour first and then we'll do bronzing after so for contouring i'll use the flower beauty one I'll just be putting it at the hollows of my cheeks and then I'll just blend it out with the other brush later. So nose contour I don't really do but let's do it anyway. I don't really have a problem with how thin my nose looks although I do really like the effect that you do where it like buttons up a little bit so I'm gonna do that instead of like thinning it too much. I like to use my finger and I just put it where when you do this, where the crease starts. So the crease starts here. And then I think I was too close to the mic, I'm sorry. And then it just gives a nice, like almost, you know, contoury thing. I like it. So I don't know if you can tell how, like it's almost pulling a little red in camera. It doesn't really, I can't really see. I don't have my glasses and you're pretty far away. So I can't see. And now I'm gonna bronze. This one I'm just gonna focus 
on the areas where I want to have appear a little bit smaller, like my forehead. I'm also gonna put it a little bit just to blend out that contour shade a little bit. You know how the Kardashian sisters, they're like dude number three or something? That's pretty good. Bronzing and contouring, they go very well together. And I don't do it often, but I do like doing it. Um, so now we're done with most of everything. We're gonna have to do our lips and then some setting spray. And yeah, we're gonna be done. So for lips, I like to go with a lip liner and then a gloss. But these are the products I've been absolutely loving for the summer. So the first gloss that I've been absolutely loving, even more than the summer, I've been using it for a year now. This is the Lifter Gloss by Maybelline. This is my second tube. Can you believe it? I've never bought a second tube of anything lip related ever. I've never finished a gloss before. And this shade in stone is my absolute favorite. I always have it with me. The second one I really like is the Vinyl, Vinyl? Vinyl? Um, lip Colors by Maybelline as well. This is in the shade 35 Cheeky. I do like this. It's kind of like a your lip but better shade for me. And another thing I kind of caved because everybody was talking about it, blah, 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 is the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. This is in the shade like Vanilla Beige. I absolutely love the color of this, but paying so much money for this just doesn't really make me feel yay. Like I don't feel like you have to buy this to get good lip benefits. I do love my Laneige sleeping mask. This one, I don't know, I love it, but I just don't see myself repurchasing it for the money I spent on it, unless there's a sale. I'll be using a Sephora lip liner. Amazing lip liner, by the way. This is the Rouge Gel Lip Liner. This is in the shade Nothing But Nude. I love these lip liners. They're nice, they're creamy, and they're really pigmented. They're not expensive, especially when there's a Sephora sale. You get a lot of product. Also, you don't have to sharpen it. Now, I kind of want something shiny, and I'm thinking maybe I'll try the Vanille one. This is the Vanille one on me, but I kind of want something a little bit more warm. So I will top it off with the Lifter Gloss in Stone. Love this. Yeah. Yeah, I love this color so much. I top off everything with this color, and that's why I used a whole tube of it. Okay, so now we're gonna use a spray, and then we'll be all done. There are two sprays that I like to use on the daily. The first is the Catrice Prime and Fine, which I kind of bought because of Taylor Wynn. And the second is the Tower 28 spray, which I bought because of Thriftic and Cassie. And um, honestly, <sighs> I don't know, it's just better. I don't know the difference. Again, spray is kind of that in the primer category for me where you don't really see much going on. You don't really notice if it really does make your makeup last longer, if it's the one that makes your makeup last longer. But I do ha like how it like just brings everything together. And that one actually happens to be something I enjoy with sprays. I actually like this spray a little bit more, like the, the feel of it versus this one, but this is just a trial size. So we will just spray our face a little bit more and then I'll put it, my face in front of the fan right there to dry it out. Okay, it's nice. Okay, there you have it. This is the whole summary look. I do really like all the products that I tried today. And these products, most of these products I've been using every single day, especially the foundation, the brow products, the lip products, the lash products except the false lashes, which I don't really do, and even the blush, and I absolutely love every single one of them. So if you do enjoy my content, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe down below, and comment down below what you'd like to see next. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!